Dr. Bart Hodgins, Achilles tendonitis, uh, heel bone right in the back of your heel. You're getting some pain. It might be coming up this way as well. Okay. In my clinic, I treat a ton of this. I do a lot of acupuncture on it. I have a radial shock wave. I do a lot of taping and a lot of orthotics. I want to introduce you to Logan. He's going to walk through uh, sports rehab. So I don't do a ton of sports rehab. So this is a hugely valuable video that is not only how to prevent it becoming problematic where you even need to see someone like me, you can take care of this yourself, but just how important it is to rehab any area, but today it'll be Achilles, the Achilles tendonitis area, so that you can go back to the activities you love, but with a much stronger, more vibrant, and also a secure tissue so you don't stay in the injury cycle. I love to skateboard, I love to play basketball, but sometimes you go out there and you go a little too hard when you're not ready for it, and you develop pain right around here. This is Achilles tendonitis where you feel like you have a sharp pain, you can't put pressure on it without a jolt of pain. This is what we're here for. So this accident is very, very common, and it's just an overusage injury. So let's say there's 10 levels, and you can get to level seven and recover properly, but you go out and play three days in a row hard football, or you're an older person and you walk again for the first time in a couple weeks, that, and you hit like an eight or a nine on your scale, it's all relative. You can develop sharp pain and it can be a pain. I've been having this with about seven, eight months, just from constant skateboarding, getting hurt and coming back too fast. My tolerance is not there yet. Everything is relative to the individual. So let's walk through on how to fix this. Three parts to this. Number one, isometrics. Number two, slow load eccentrics. And number three, plyometrics. So let's first start with isometrics. Isometrics are good for relieving pain, but not necessarily building that strength back. There's two isometrics you want to do. One with the knee bent and one with the leg straight. There's two parts to the calf, the soleus and the gastrocnemius, and you want to hit both. So to start out, it's all relative to you and your pain tolerance. Don't work through more than a three out of 10 pain. And if you feel discomfort after or the next morning, tone it back. So let's start with the first isometric. Start up on your toes, just hold it. Do what you can do. You should not be feeling more than three out of 10 pain. Next one, knee bent 90 degrees up on the toes like this. Hold on to something if you need support. Just don't try to help yourself. Start one set of 45 seconds on each. If that's pain free, then slowly build up. Everything is slow building up. Next step is slow eccentric weighted movements. So once again, you want a knee bent and a leg straight. The knee bent, you're here. Knee directly over the toe. Weight. On this, start three seconds up, one, two, three, three seconds down, one, two, three. Start, like I said, very easy to you. Do one set of 15, start with one set of 45 seconds on the isometrics. For the standing up one, both feet, one, two, three, one, two, three, one set of 15. I am at the end stage of my recovery, so I am now doing a 70 pound dumbbell and I'm doing one leg, one, two, three, one, two, three, for around two to three sets. Obviously, you have to build your way up because Achilles tendonitis is load related. If you jump into that too fast, it's gonna hurt. If it ends up hurting more than three out of 10 the next day, tone it back a little bit and repeat the same thing. I do this around five times a week, almost every day, give myself a couple days to lay low because like I said, it's not very intense exercising. The third step is plyometrics, getting that intensity back. So this can be with little pogo hops in the air and slowly introduce back running and jumping. Finally, introduce your sport again. So where I'm at currently, starting from one set of this, one set of that is I do two sets of Two sets of one minute with the knees bent right now. Two sets of one minute on one foot. I do a 70 pound for two sets of slow up and down 15 reps. 
two sets, slow up and down of this. And I skate 45 minutes every other day. I'm gonna slowly build it up until I'm back to my normal two hour sessions. So there's two types of Achilles tendonitis. Regular, right on the Achilles, and then insertional, right where the Achilles inserts to the heel bone. Now, the main difference is in insertional Achilles tendonitis, you do not want to drop below parallel when doing your calf exercises. Meaning if you're right here, you go one, two, three, you do not want to drop like this and put that stretch on it. That will only make it worse. And whether you have the regular or the insertional, these exercises will still help both the exact same ways. So I wouldn't even risk taking that opportunity to make it worse because the gain really isn't that big. So for me, I would recommend either way, don't take the guessing game. Just don't go below parallel. Start here, one, two, three, and lead parallel, etc. So when should you transition to using one foot? If you're comfortably doing two feet, one, two, three, one, two, three, or the isometrics, you're up here, 60 seconds, 45 seconds to start. Before you go to one foot, you wanna build up to at least a 50 pound dumbbell. Start with something lighter, this is a 25 pounds. Same thing, hold it two feet, one, two, three, one, two, three. If you're starting off, just do one set, like I said, before you get further. But if you're gonna do two sets, switch the hands. Once you hit about a 50 pound dumbbell, then you're ready to go to single leg. One, two, three, one, two, three. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comment below.